They're a London-based band. And you know what? I really like the song. And <clears throat> the biggest thing is that the vocalist, honestly, she sounds a lot like Mary Queen Mandank, uh, who is Trent Reznor's wife, who's also the singer for How to Destroy Angels. So if you compare the both of those, man, it's a very, very similar. And just a side note, uh, uh, one of Mary Queen's first bands, what she did backup vocals was a band called West Indian Girl, which you can find on YouTube online. But yeah, man, this female vocalist, she just, just wow, very impressive. And it just, I love the beat. I love the kind of the focus to it. It was a great tune. I thought that was brilliant. I actually didn't want that to reminisce there was 10 seconds left. I was slightly disappointed because I thought there was going to be a lot more I was well into that. I was kind of, uh, in my head, I was hoping it was going to go into like a big drum and bass bit somewhere in the middle. It just kind of felt like it was going to go in that direction. I would have been well up for a little bit of a rave in the kitchen. But uh, yeah, it was, it was brilliant. I, was, I, I really enjoyed that track. Um, properly, properly. Good. Again, the production's brilliant. Just the, the clarity of sound, that's what's so important when you're writing electronic music is to make sure it doesn't all blur into one. It's to get that clarity of sound in the same way that when you record guitar music, you want to right. make sure the harmonics and the individual notes are there and every chord and everything else. Clarity of sound is so important and they really got that. The production values are absolutely spot on on that. I really enjoyed that. Right on. So we have two more songs for here for part one. The next one up is a band called Cologne and if I remember reading their biography correct, correct it's uh, uh, in relation to uh, Cologne, Germany, because they are a German band. And oh, the, nice. The song's called Gotta Let It Go. Dig this. Cologne with Gotta Let It Go, and that single comes out June 8th. And a great tune, really liked it, man. And like, very, very catchy. Like, and you know, kind of, I'd say it's a pop rock in there, but like, a really cool tune. Like, I mean, I just, no, yeah, I, I really got into it and super easily. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. There's, there's, <laughs> this sounds really odd. There's one note in there. I think it's in 
maybe it's in the uh, I can't remember if it's the bit just before or the bit just after the chorus. It's he, it's either in the bridge or the, the verse coming out of it. Right. There's one note in there that is just beautiful. Like the tonality on the guitar sounds absolutely fat. It sounds like Slash is playing it. And I just <laughs> I was listening along, you know, bob my head. I listening to tune. I heard that note. I was like, oh, that's a nice. <laughs> Really hit me, so um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. What I do is I'll play it back later, and I'll give everyone what what time that note comes in, <laughs> so you can all have a listen. Um, but that's uh, top quality. It's a great tune. Um, kind of reminded me, uh, almost like a sort of cleaned up early Oasis kind of thing. Okay, yeah, on. yeah. No, you no, know, sort of like definitely point. maybe, but if they'd had the budget, it'd be here now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> on. I mean? That kind of. No, no, yeah, you're absolutely right. Super, not doing a very good point. So we have one song left for part one, and uh, this guy was awesome to us. He sent us uh, a song from his, from his current band and a song from his old band for uh, Ray from the Grave. And this band's called 40 Shillings. The song's called Every Man. Dig this. <laughs> Forty showings on the drum. That was every man, man. That was a badass tune. You know, you know what? Actually, it kind of remind me of because we heard last week for the first time in a long time because of a song we played last week by artist called Emute. It's been about two, maybe three years since the album came out, but it sounded like it sounded it sounded similar to like I can pay for it, like same kind of style, but like really enjoyed, it, like really kind of like out there and very very catchy. Yeah, I think they're a fantastic band. Actually, they do. Um... 
you know, some really kind of interesting things in terms of the way they promote themselves. Like, I'm sure it was them that did something recently um, where they were kind of playing a street gig. Right. Uh, they played with Wild Horse, or they're playing, no, sorry, they're playing with Wild Play, Horse. Yeah. Um, uh, which is going to be a great gig. It's actually not that, it's about an hour away from me, so I'm going to try and get to that. Nice. Um, which is cool. But yeah, they're, they're just a really cool band. I really, really like them. Um, I love that track. I think it's brilliant. They kind of just, you know, there's a little bit of levelers in there as well, but it's right. kind of, it's a bit heavier as well. It's, it's quite, almost more like the Pogues or, I don't know, Flogging Molly or someone like that. Do you okay. know what I mean? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Got that. Okay, but well, yeah, I love them. Just before I finish up part one here and two, um, Jux has made a couple of comments on the Speaker app. And uh, one thing he said, he's because that's awesome because it won't be two or 2019. So because you got you to put on a show for him. So I was like, that's awesome. But what I was thinking, what I was thinking too is I haven't talked to him yet, but I want to talk to Dave from Grass Cutter and, and uh, see, because I was thinking, I was like, you know what? Maybe I've been kind of uh, playing around with a few of their songs. And I was like, maybe, maybe we'll, we'll, cover, we'll cover a Grass Cutter tune and just, and just out, of, out of respect to them. And because they're, they're out of Newcastle, right? Yeah, no, I so I was thinking about see if I could, if I could perfect it enough, I'll, and I'll talk to Dave and see what Dave says, see if he's cool with it. I think he will be, but I'm not guaranteeing that. So I think when we do our set on Stewart's show on the Premium Blend Radio Show, we may cover cover a grass cutter song. I'm up for that definitely. So if, if that's the case, I've been working a few things here, so I'll send them over to you real soon. So I, I have a few things I want to send you, so I'll have you check them out for next year. So we're gonna have to obviously go over this a few times, but uh, so that's one yeah. thing about. And I will talk to Dave uh, very, very shortly. So we're going to take a quick break here, and uh, we'll be back with part two of NMS. And we got a pretty uh, uh, heavy rock in part two. And the good thing is we have, and this is awesome, because uh, Em and I went to see Nim Way and Jitsu Ghost last week. And uh, the drummer, Tom, I was talking to Tom, and he said, well, we we're talking to this well, you know what? We actually have a master version of their song, Pressure, which is on YouTube. But the MP3 has been released to no one else, so it hasn't actually been played as an MP3 on any station. So we have a very, a very good exclusive, and thank you to Tom from the Gypsy Ghost for this. So in part two, we're going to kick off with a song called Pressure. So in the meantime, if you want to listen to it, you can check it out on YouTube. But until then, we'll be right back in about five, ten minutes. Bones out. Dig this.